Hi everyone, it's Matt from CeramicMaterialsWorkshop.com and I'm here today with a short video to show you the UMF calculator we have available at CeramicMaterialsWorkshop.com. This calculator is completely free and it runs on Microsoft Excel and it's what I use every day to do my glaze calculations and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's not the best glaze calculator in the world, but like I said, it's free and it works pretty universally. If you want to download it, you can head over to CeramicMaterialsWorkshop.com slash UMF hyphen calculator.html and download it there for free. There are other places where you can look for UMF calculators. My personal favorite is glazy.org, which is an absolutely amazing website for cataloging and documenting glazes. It's got an astounding collection of thousands of glazes, all contributed by users, and you can sort them by type and color and texture and lots of wonderful things. You can create your collections and do all sorts of cool stuff. In here, here's a here's a here's a one glaze we can look at, and in here you'll find pictures, you'll find the formula, you'll find the breakdown, the UMF calculations, and it'll even be plotted on Stahl's map. It's absolutely astounding. I love glazy.org. Even if you come down at the bottom, you'll find similar recipes recipes and the chemical hazards. It's absolutely beautiful. But I admit that I still do a lot of my calculations at hand uh, by, uh, uh, by hand on my own computer and spreadsheets because I tend to knock out a lot of formulas when I'm doing experiments. So this is the calculator that I use. Like I said, it's pretty simple and I just wanted to take you through a few of the features. It's just a simple Excel document. You're more than welcome to tweak with it and play with it. Um, and talk about it on the forums and it works pretty simply. Up here you can insert the date or some relevant text information and over here you can insert the, the cone of your firing and this is just for reference so if you're cone 10 or if you're cone 04 you just click on the little triangle box duh, 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 and select it so you can keep track of what temperature you're working at and referencing. Up here is our results box and we'll look at that in a second and down here you insert your formula. The way you insert a formula is pretty simple. First you click on a box and the little arrow pops up. You click on the arrow and then you, a list of materials comes and you select that material. Now my list is a little bit random because I've, I've categorized it by how regularly I use the material. I could put it in alphabetical order but the problem is a very common material is whiting. Well, whiting being alphabetical, put it at the end of the list, but it's in 90% of the glaze formulas out there, so I moved it up towards the top. So the listing's a little bit random, but if you click on the box and you sort through them, pretty much everything is there. If there's something that I'm missing that's not that common, sorry, I tend to keep this to American materials, um, you know, let me know on the discussion forums at ceramicmaterialsworkshop.com. So we've got this whole list of materials. You can come down and pick your materials and we're just going to run a simple recipe of Nefsi, Whiting, Flint, and EPK. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, EPK and we're just going to program in our standard 4321. So in the second column over here we've got it says insert amount. So I'm going to do 40% Nephilene cyanide. Okay, I'm going to do 20% Whiting. 30% flint, and 10% EPK. And then up top, we've got our UMF calculations, all said and done, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, we can look at our analysis. Here we've got our alkali metals and our alkali earth, 0.3 to 0.7. So this is a well-balanced glaze with our one, flux one fluxing molecule, our one gallon of gas, as we like to say. We've got our alumina level at 0.42, our silica level at 3.42, with a silica to alumina ratio of 8.04 to 1. And we can come down here and look at our individual fluxes, our alkali metals in pink, 0.23 sodium, 0.7 potassium. We've got little trace of magnesium, but it's rounded out to zero and calcium is up to 0.7. And that's basically it. You plug in a formula and you can play it and tweak it and do all sorts of fun things with it. And we talk all about that in our online workshop, Glazed and Confused, Understanding the Unity Molecular Formula. So the spreadsheet does a few more things. You've got a second two columns here with a redundant naming of the materials, but it's also got a normalizing feature. So let's say you change one of your ingredients. Let's make our flint 
20 instead of 30. Well now, this formula doesn't equal 100. Well, if you come to the second column, this has been renormalized, so our formula again equals 100, which is a nice feature because it's good to keep your glazes normalized. Now you can come up here and see how it's affected your chemistry. Let's see our fluxes are the same. You'd expect that. We haven't changed our fluxes. Our alumina level is the same. You'd expect that. We didn't change our nephsi or our clay amounts, but our silica level is down from what it previously was, which means our silica to alumina ratio is down. So we can begin to see and predict what happens to glazes as we tweak them. And like I said, it's renormalized to the new batch. The last set of columns here is desired batch size. And this means you can create whatever size batch you want. Right now it's at 100 grams, which is the perfect amount for a glaze test because you don't waste a lot of material. You're making just enough to make that little test. But say you want to make a five gallon bucket. Well, that's around 10,000 grams. So you just plug 10,000 grams into the pale yellow box and boom, you've got your number. Now say you want a batch that's 5,263.4 0.5 grams. Plug that in and there you go. You've got your desired batch size so you can calculate it to whatever size you want. The last feature on here is down at the bottom. We've got our colorants. Click on a box and you reference your colorant. We'll just pick chrome oxide off the top and then you enter your amount. We'll say we've got 2% chrome oxide and then it takes it through the normalizing and increasing the batch size to whatever you want. And that's it. That's my glaze calculator. It's nothing particularly special, but it beats doing the glaze calculations by hand. See my other video on this YouTube channel of doing UMF calculations. Um, but, you know, it's much faster to just have the computer do it for you. And I'm not like your sadistic math teacher in high school. Go ahead and use your calculator. I don't think anyone should be doing this by hand. It saves a lot of time. Of course, you should learn how to do it by hand just so you can track where these numbers come from. Or you can come to ceramicmaterialsworkshop.com and take our online lecture, our online workshop, uh, uh, Glazed and Confused. Uh, understanding the unity molecular formula. So come on over to ceramicmaterialsworkshop.com and we'll dive into everything that this glaze calculator has to offer you in your studio to make your studio the best it can be. So I'll see you over there and have a nice day.